Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Golf Buzzy. I'm Tom Perlazzo and you know we're at the end of 2011 and I hope everyone's out there planning their next, next Ocean City golf vacation. Got some great tips for you this year to get you in 2012 and hopefully we'll see you on the links down here in 2012. But there are six tips that I just wanted to share. This is kind of the insider's view of the package market out there. The first one is you need to be flexible with your dates. You know, everyone wants to play on a weekend, but if you want, you're looking to save money, you can play weekdays all throughout the spring. Uh, also, there are prime time weekends. If you look around and you ask, uh, you'll find that some weekends can get you those prime time tea times that you're looking for uh, if you just juggle your schedule a little bit. The second tip is everyone wants to play at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. to get the morning round in so they can do something else. But look, if you're looking to save money and keep more in your pocket to do something else, check afternoon rates. Every golf course here on the shore has afternoon rates and you might be able to get a better deal on your package. Just ask your golf packager or peruse the website at www.oceancitygolf.com. The third thing I wanted to tell you, the big tip is, Get a request to quote. Log on to www.oceancitygolf.com, put in your information. That gets sent to every hotel, every golf packager that can plan an Ocean City Golf vacation. So this, those people will call you back, email you, depending on how you say you want to be contacted, give you the best deal and rates. You can look it up on the internet, see if that's where you'd like to stay, if it's in the north end of town or the south end of town. You know, you can take a pick and make your choices at that point. The fourth thing out there is, I know when I go to play golf, I want to play golf from sundown, or sun up to sundown. And if you're looking to play 36, another way to save money is play the afternoon round as a replay. Again, all the golf courses have replay rates. You can check availability and be sure to do that. Uh, you can play 36 that day without hopping in your car, driving another couple of miles to play the next golf course. The fifth thing is that, you know, Ocean City's not really big, so it's not like Myrtle Beach, per se, where you might drive 40 miles to play golf from one end of town to the other. But if you're staying in the north end of town, anything Route 90 and above can get you to a golf course pretty quick. You know, depending on the time of year, you know, there's no traffic in Ocean City anyway. But Route 90 and above can put you on River Run, um, can put you uh, at all the Delaware golf courses pretty easy pretty easy to accommodate. If you're down below 60th Street, certainly you can get on the, you know, the Ocean City Golf Club Corridor, Eagles Landing, Rum Point, Glen Riddle. You know, again, north of Ocean City, it's River Run, Lighthouse Sound, it's the uh, Bayside. But again, if you stay close to your competition, that can save time and keep you on the golf course rather than in your golf car. Uh, the last thing I wanted to make sure you knew out there is my sixth and final tip for 2012 is get the meal deals. Uh, there's a lot of hotels out there, a lot of golf packagers that offer breakfast included in your package. Some offer dinner vouchers. Some offer packages. If you stay and play, you get a steak dinner. But check out the website. The best thing I can tell you is log on to www.oceancitygolf.com or call 1-800-4-OC-GOLF and they will definitely hook you up with one of their many golf package providers or hotels that are golfer friendly. So that's the 2012 tips for you to start out. I hope to see you on the links. Uh, so long everyone. If you have any questions, just email me at info at and I'll try to get you the hot tip for 2012. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you on the golf course.